I had at the same time a friend who was coming to school here and she said, hey, I need to uh, work on somebody who has chronic pain for my research project. I said, okay, I'm a breastfeeding mom. I got all kinds of you know, shoulder aches and pains and whatnot, plus that chronic chest pain, which by then I had given up sort of uh, address, even beginning to address it. But her name was Heather. She's a wonderful therapist. Um, she's now in Iowa. But in four, in four sessions, my, my pain was gone. And I didn't even realize it because when I got home, I, something was missing. Like I thought I had left my watch or my purse or something. You know, when you're in chronic pain, you're a little bit paranoid. So you check in, you do all your, is it there, right? That's what I would do. I would check my, I would check my stuff. And it, like it wasn't there. And it wasn't there a second day and it wasn't there a week and, and months and so on and so forth. And so that, like that heavy cloud that came with chronic pain, it lifted and you know, I just kind of kept getting this, this, this question kept coming to me, what are you gonna do with your life now that you cannot use this as an excuse not to do something meaningful? Um, and you and you know that you you know blogging is like not your you know well I love writing and you know I need uh, interaction with, with humans maybe more so than some of us do so um, for many months I sat on it and then finally I was like okay I want to do this I want to do this and um, I enrolled in school and here I am and now I present outwardly very differently than I once did almost a decade ago, but I have no chronic pain. 